2v2 Hydra's Chasm Blue team, a whole bunch of Tyranids have got Acra playing a Hive Tyrant, Durable Commander walks through cover and cannot be suppressed, fights melee by default, emits a basic synapse, offense and support. We've got Wurgle alongside Pain under the name Wurgalicious playing a Lictor Alpha ambushing commander can infiltrate, good at picking out high value targets and harassing early on, fights melee. Up against them two heavyweights, Mr. Rico is a big angry war boss, stomps around, leads from the front with buffs, damage and support, fights melee. And Ahua Vader as a Chaos Lord, very tough commander, walks through cover, cannot be suppressed, destructive and durable, fights melee, not much support though. We've got Chaos Space Marines into some more heretics for Ahua Vader up against Wurgle on this east side where the contested VP is. And these Termigants are going to lose models here. Here comes double Termigants for Wurgle. In fact, both Tyranid players going for the usual double Termigant opening. Chaos Lord taking a lot of damage. Wurgle doing a good job kiting these Termigants. Now the Lictor Alpha is tying up those Chaos Space Marines. Wurgle doing very well. Hovator really needs that heretic support, and here it comes. Chaos Lord doing well. Wurgle trying his best to kite him. Here come the Curse Space Marines though to force melee on these Termigants, and Termigants are forced to retreat. As are the Hormogods who came in from the flank. Meanwhile, on the west side, Hive Tyrant in combat with the Warboss, that's his stomp, knocking back the Termigants and forces him to retreat. Warboss not quite as tough as the Hive Tyrant and Chaos Lord to start off. 860 hit points compared to 1080 for the Hive Tyrant and a round 1000 for the Chaos Lord. West side has two VPs, the two naturals. This is natural for blue in the southwest. Natural for red is northwest. And there is Toxic Sax crypting that war boss. Really, really hurting his effectiveness if you can't get into melee. You might see the angry bits of him though Crippling Poison does work when he charges and his excellent pressure from Acra against a very good Orc player Mr. Rico who has lost his starting Slugger squad Omegon Brew just about getting away with two models here Mr. Rico should be able to push him back now Warboss still regenerating Hive Tyrant stomping around with full hit points here level 2 already must have finished off that Slugger squad. 1134 hit points at level 2 with no upgrades. And the Shooter Boy is in trouble. Need to get right back into base here. Meanwhile, East Side has been taken by Ahoa Beta. And the Hive Tyrant is finally forced off. Amazing pressure from Acra. Rico needs to rebuild and push back now. Even lost natural VP here. So it's a 2 to 1 for Blue. 4 7 3 4 9 8. Ravana Brood on the way for both Tyranid players. Akris is on the field already. And Ahoy Vader lost a Heretic squad. Now has some Havoc setup team that suppressed with the Heavy Bolter. And some more Chaos Space Marines. Heavy ranged infantry that are decent in melee. No upgrade yet for these Heretics in their default melee state. In which they are very, very fragile. It is the Ravana Brood of Acra, disruptive melee unit. Here they go burrowing on these shooters and these shooters are in big trouble. We need to retreat through Raveners and they're gonna die. This is a terrible, terrible start for Mr. Rico. 473483, it's a one-to-one. -one. Red's natural is gone. Warboss retreats, just did not spot that Ravener Brood burrow. Ravener Brood are now a melee unit in tier one need to wait until tier 2 to give them a ranged weapon now. Pretty nice as a melee unit though. I believe they have power melee in tier 1. Are they going to take down these generators? I think they are. Hormon wants to take it down. Do they have their adrenal glands? No. Moonout east side. Ahove are doing a lot better than his teammate right now, Mr. Rico. Havocs took a lot of damage but are still set up covering the VP. Termigant trying to flank. Heretics have their aspiring champion now turn them into a pretty useful melee unit. 
huge pressure steal by Acra on this west side. Here come shooters are going to lose that squad if it's not careful. If the Hive Tyrant had Rendon Talons there, that would have been a dead squad. Seismic Roar on retreat would have finished them. Just been totally, totally unable to deal with this Hive Tyrant. Cannot be suppressed, of course, so the big shooters won't help. And in contrast, double Toxin Sacks really, really negates the usefulness of the Warboss. Which is why he's so far behind it. Acra now decapping the Power Node. Lick to Alpha on the east side. No war gear for any commander. We do have spiky armor on the way for the war boss now. We have a warrior brood for Wurgle. Acra has gone for double Ravenous. Very heavy tier 1 from the Tyranid players. Tyranids usually do a pretty heavy tier 1. Lick to Alpha finishes the cap. East side starting to turn blue. West side turning blue. Red really, really pushed back here. And it's not like they are out teching the blue team. There is Angry Bits from the war boss, Spiky Armor and Angry Bits. Now I'm Angry stopped by the Toxin Sacks Crippling Poison. And now can these shooters out shoot the Termagus? I think they can. Very nice stomp by the war boss. And that Spiky Armor really going to hurt those Homogons if they st stayed in melee, but they did retreat. East side is now turning red. Chaos Lord, no war give this guy. Raveners are now on Chaos Space Marines. This is dangerous at that low health. And they take out a model. Here come Heretics. Aspiring Champion Heretics are very bad news for Ravener Brood. And here they come. There's the Doom Blast suppressing them and damaging them. And they get away with no losses, I think. Yes. Wurgle going for Warrior Brood instead of Double Ravenous, perhaps to give him that basic synapse. Synapse. The basic synapse, in a way, gives you a damage reduction for non synapse creatures. You can see the faint green glow around their heads there. But now those warriors are out of the picture. These guys are not under synapse. But look at this Heretics almost taken out. And those Cursed Space Marines need to be very, very careful. Hormagon Brood right there. And they get their adrenal glands on the way. Havoc set up and suppress them, and tons of damage at that range. They should have gone for the Kel Space Marines earlier, I think. It was really, really trying to get a squad wipe on those heretics. 458402, tier 2, 4 blue team in the Ascendancy still. Very strong tier 1 and tier 2 first. Here comes the war boss. Charging in, very orc like. Double big shooters. Got Ravener Brood. Burrow in and disrupt all of them. And they take the building. Warboss going after Termigants who cripple him. Really, really good tier 1 play from Acra and now has the Crushing Claw, which is going to be devastating to everything in melee. East side, Doom Blast on these Ravenous. Can he take out the squad? They're in retreat and takes out two models. Spore Mines now dropped. Global ability of the Lictor Alpha and can't get a model loss. Might be able to get a model loss or two or three or five on these heretics though. Can it detonate in time? No. Look at this, Mr. Rico pushing Acra's natural VP, but he's lost his natural power completely almost. Just needs to decap it, but he's not. Five Tyrant is in base here. Causing absolute havoc with those crushing claws and now retreats 416402. Somehow the VPs are close. Blue now have a 1 to 1. Going to be a 2 to 1 for red. Will he get devourers for these double raveners? Yes. Well, one of them has the devourer. Ravener Brood burrow defensively away. and start to take their natural back. Wurgle, an excellent push. Wiped out the Havocs. And now Ahoyve are really struggling on this east side. 399402. There's Let the Galaxy Burn. Might even up the east side of it on those double termagants using that thing. Chaos Lord gets away. 
adrenal glands for the warrior brood. They now have melee heavy damage in all targets. Ahoy Vader really nice to try and focus these guys down and take one out for a synaptic shock. But cannot. 2-1 to one for blue. They've taken a natural back. And here comes Acra again. Here's the charge from the war boss. Just can't get into range to stomp these guys. Raven of Brood. Double Borrow in. And here's a weird boy for Mr. Rico. Sub commander for Orcs. Bang. Damaging and destructive abilities. Very nice artillery attack. There's Zap. Takes out a model as well. And jumps again. War boss is forced to retreat though. Because here is the very scary Hive Tyrant. Has the extended Carapace. Lots of pressure on this power from Acra. 399, 371. Bombagant Brood get away with two models. Do not have their adrenal glands even. They've done very well. Heretics are going to die. Nope. Just about get away. Here's a, another Havoc squad for a Hervator. Needs to set up quickly. Ravener Brood might just burrow strike straight away. I think it's on cooldown. And they retreat. Kill the weak misses for the Curse Lord. And he can retake the east side. Mr. Rico again pushed back. Needs to try and use this weird boy to disrupt and push. Warboss now has his big scary power claw. The size of a Termigod pretty much. Look at the thing. But he's getting shot to bits. Double range Raveners. And now a zone throw. Here come Hormagaunts. And he just cannot answer that. The zone throw is going to be very bad news for those double shooters. And a weird boy has his bigger brains. Let galaxy burn on the group of Tyranids. Here comes the Curse Lord in melee with Warrior Brood. He's not engaging them though, going after these Termigants. Should focus down those warriors, I think. There's killed a week. Ravener's very lucky not to lose a model. They do lose a model. Mark of Corn, CSM, Sergeant, or Aspiring Champion shooting it in the face of the metal gun. Metal pistol, even. And almost finishes that squad off. Might be able to finish off these Termigants. If he turns and engages with those Corn CSM, no. Doesn't even engage the Warrior Brood on retreat. But has taken the east side and has held it. But Mr. Rico still under huge amounts of pressure from Acra. There's Warp Vomit, stunning all that stuff. Can the Weird Boy get away? I think the Hive Tyrant is just going to chase it into base. No, does a special attack. Very unlucky for Acra. Here's a War Truck now. Needs to be careful. Has the Zone Throw, which can snare it. And the Hive Tyrant, which would take it out very quickly if he caught it. War Boss charges through. Very low hit points, though. Zone Throw forced off. Raven of Burrow. War boss use your choppers on himself but then retreats needs to take a natural back as soon as possible 383 344 heretics no answer for that toxin sax level 2 termigants now licks out for trying to finish off that squad but they get away again how many lucky escapes have these guys had here are some plague marines now for a heavy Vader. Very tough infantry unit with a missile launcher. And they're just barreling through this Lictor Alpha here to try and put pressure on. Here's Markov Corn CSM. I think a pretty good choice makes Wurgle think about a melee unit, makes them have to kite around. Trying to finish off that Ravener brew, but now these guys turn and put some serious hurt on his Corn CSM. Ouch levels up the warrior brute to two but they do get away and Marco Zinch on the other squad meanwhile west side back pushing yet again shooters run away into the war truck there's the charge from the war boss there's a special attack and they retreat Hive Tyrant's trying to get into the retreat path here can't finish him off Hive Tyrant's taking tons of damage and needs to retreat himself 
valiant effort by Mr. Rico to guard this VP and the war boss does go down. These ranged raveners. Don't know how they haven't leveled yet. And they're hitting the power again. East side is still red. 347, 344. Look at this, a 2 to 1 for red, and they've taken the VP lead now. Licked Alpha trying to decap. Chaos Lord won't be able to see him until he, until he starts capping. But he will if he gets that close. And the lick to Alpha, is he going to run? Yes, did finish the decap though. Now I bet I can recap it because this stuff is not going to push against that. Zone Throat runs away. Tier 3, 4, both tier 3 players, these are throwing information. Mr. Rico spots it, yes. Excellent reactions there, puts all the stuff into the war clock and drives away. 338, 344. No idea how the red team are still in this. They've been pushed back so much, especially on this west side. Excellent play by Mr. Rico to not lose it. Stay calm and rebuild. He's right back into this side, pressuring Akra. War truck needs to go back, and he has nothing to repair the war truck with. War boss charges in, have lost the indicator for him. And now retreats, I think, yes. 318, 344, four. still a 2 to 1 for red. Here comes Wurgle pushing the east and looks like he's going to take it as forced everything off. Tier 3 for Mr. Rico. Looking at the requisition Acra has. Almost 1200. Ouch, very nasty weird boy attack on those Hormogons there. Almost wiped the squad. Here comes the Hive Tyrant. Really wants to try and deal with that war truck, but can't. Can't effects on the way for Wurgle. This natural power for blue looking very empty. Formagant Brood need to run, yes. Under melee synapse as they retreat from these adrenal gland warriors, giving them a huge 75% health boost. Lick to Alpha now has his corrosive claws and deadly jump means he can disrupt really really well with that thing might disrupt this cat and does warrior brood need to run Link to alpha is in trouble here and runs and however is going to retake the east side lightning claws now on his curl sword makes him fearsome in melee combat three zero five two nine two going to be a 2 to 1 for red and here is the con effects for Wurgle no upgrade for this guy yet goes straight after the chaos lord starts off as a melee monstrous creature with vehicle armor look at the damage it's doing to this chaos lord the plague marines will snare the con effects as you can see still gets into melee with them though There's Corn Worship, boosting the speed of all this stuff. There is the Galaxy Burn. Ouch. Nicely done on this Hormogon Brood. Almost finished off that entire squad. They are now under melee synapse though. And the Curse Lord runs. Wurgle should be able to push with all this stuff. Carnifex is regenerate health. And now Acra has a Carnifex of his own. But look at this knob squad from Mr. Rico. And double plague marines for a hoevator. 281, 292. It's still a 2 to 1 for red. Might ever be a triple here. Knobs are capping. Blue's natural, but I think Wurgle's going to take the east. He is. Here comes. Hoevator again. Can he push off these tyrannies quickly enough to get a triple? I don't think so. Acra guarding his natural with a Carnifex and a Fire Tyrant. Hard boys on these knobs. And they are chasing little Tyranids. Should be going after the Raveners or something, I think. And now they are. And they have their knob leader now. And lose a model. These guys need to be careful and finally retreat. Need to retreat through a Carnifex. And the Hive Tyrant knows a charge. Might lose this knob squad. Do they get away with a single model? They do. 
they get away with two models in fact. Warboss trying to keep the pressure on here. Keep Atra off his natural. Warboss taking quite a lot of damage and this is a full retreat from Mr. Rico. Lightning Claw, Chaos Lord is no joke. Now in melee with Raveners. Takes one out in a sink kill. And Raveners get the hell out of there. Lictor Alpha trying to harass with a Carnifex which goes down to the double plague marines. And there goes the Lictor Alpha. Chaos Lord might be able to finish him off in retreat. If he gets a couple of hits. Spotted him a bit late and only gets one hit. Goes for the decap instead. It's now a double for blue. Might even be a triple. Should be able to decap in time, yes. Gonna be a 2 to 1 for blue though. Mr. Reckon needs to push quickly, has the knobs back up to full strength, getting a knob leader back. Ripper's spawned and easily taken out. Carnifex thorn back. And here comes the Warboss charging in. Going after the Carnifex, I think. Yes, and here's the knobs with Odd Boys. This is a very, very dead Carnifex, I think. It's not going to be able to run all the way back, or maybe it will. Toxin sacks Termigant's covering the retreat path with Crippling Poison there. Warboss is still chasing, but does a special attack. Which is not what you want to do when you're chasing stuff, and the Carnifex looks like it's going to get away. Shooter's getting shot to bits, need to retreat. Hive uh, Tyrant might go into base, try and finish off that Weird Boy. That's the Weird Boy level. Weird Boy is level 2. And there's Zap on those Raveners who run away. And so does the Hive Tyrant. Meanwhile, east side. Double Plague Marines. Very, very tough staying in there. But they're now going to lose the east side. Forced to retreat. Might lose that squad if these Warriors turn around. What are they doing? Are they getting line of sight for a global? They are. There is a runner formation. Might lose that squad though. Out. Nicely done. And tons of stuff dying. Plague Marines healing each other as they explode. But that was very, very, very bad for Ahoy Vader. 256, 210. And nothing is capped right now. Mr. Rico taking his natural. Lictor Alpha takes the east side. And now Ahoyvay are looking very, very thin. Chaos Space Marines and Plague Marines. Even the Chaos Lord is down here. It's down to Mr. Rico now, pretty much. He needs to have a very nice engagement and then take Acra's Natural. Has a Nob Squad with huge Ammers and then Nob Leader. They're going to get shot up while they cap this power here. Tier 3 for Ahoy Vader. And Akra might be saving for a Swarm Lord here. In fact, surely is. East side, lots and lots of pressure from Wurgle. Pushing the advantage. It's really what you need to do. Curse Space Marines caught in retreat by League to Alpha, but the Curse Lord, very scary Lightning Claws. Forces them to retreat. There's an Imperial Abyss. Wurgle spots it very quickly and runs the hell away. And there's another Toronto formation, was it? Use your choppers and Ard Boys on these knobs trying to take out this Carnifex. Look at the damage those hammers do when the momentum gets built up and they retreat. Might go after the Hive Tyrant. Carnifex still running away. Oh, Tarrant's got a lot to deal with here. What level is this guy? Level 5. 1500 hit points. Nob Squad not attacking it. Just kiting, allowing it to get shot to bits. And something's getting cooled down. Now they go after the Hive Tarrant. Look at the damage he takes on retreat. One more hit and he's going to go down. Not quite. Gets away with 22 hit points. Wow. Spawn Mines dropped by Wurgle. Who is taking the east side 245151. 
but it's a 2-1 for Red. Excellent play by Mr. Rico taking Blue's natural here. Thorn back Carnifex forces the weird boy to run a hell away and hit is a swarm lord. Really, really should allow Aqua to push here. Corn the CSM, or however again a Chaos Predator out. And here it is. Can he use it to push? Can he take out the Lictor Alpha? No. Wurgle doesn't have much anti-vehicle. Apart from his Warrior Brood and a Swarm Lord of his own now. So I think this is pretty much GG for Red. Here is that Swarm Lord. And he's playing where he's in a very, very bad position. But the Swarm Lord does back off. Gives a speed synapse and a reinforcement synapse. Speed Synapse affects everything, even Synapse creatures. Amazing pressure from Acra again. Is taking Red's natural, but his Ravenous is going to pay for it with their lives. 2 2 2, 97, a triple for blue, and this is surely over here. Look at the map, completely blue. Another Imperial Abyss, was it? Is he going to take this Swarm Lord out, I think? Chased by a Predator. And Plague Marines who are not quite quick enough to catch up and shoot. But the Predator takes out the Swarm Lord. Didn't do much, did he? Lictor on the way for Acra. Look at this, Acra completely pushed back. And Mr. Rico is going to take Blue's natural here. Or is he? Weirdway's not decapping. Looted tank for Mr. Rico. Weird boy really needs to decap. Here comes a Swarm Lord and a Carnifex and a Hive Turret though. And now starts to decap. But the east side is going to stay blue. Chaos Lord unable to cap this side. Let the galaxy burn, but I think he's going to go down. And does. Flesh Hooks finishes him off. 2 1 8 45. Hard boys on the knobs again. Global buff off the war boss. Here comes a Lictor jumping in. Tier 3 unit. Very nice DPS and disruption, but you don't want it attacking a melee squad like a knobs. Can the Carnifex finish these guys off? Might see a charge. No, they get away with this single model, these guys. Flesh hooks can't even finish them. 20745. It's going to be a 2 to 1 for blue. Plague Marines trying to decap against double Termigants. But they're not going to be able to. These Termigants are level 4. And they are forced off. But of course, this tank cannot cap. Swarm Lord now running from Tank Busters and the War Boss. Swarm Lord has vehicle armor. Great unclean one on the way for Hoever. Can he get it out in time? 2 to 1 for blue. 207.31. Here comes the Carnifex. Goes straight after the war boss, who's in a whole bunch of trouble there, getting meleeed by everything. War boss surely gonna die. No, gets away. And full retreat from Mr. Rico. And it's a double for blue, gonna be a triple, and this is it. Valiant, valiant effort from Red, especially after the incredibly tough start that Mr. Rico had. That Tyranor formation on his base didn't help. And there's a another Tyranor formation right at the end there. Wow, what was that like four or five Tyranor formations? Crazy. There was one there, there was one on each base, one there, so at least four. Excellent game. Well played by Blue. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.